that people on social media don't make like appointment TV. They don't like, they don't tune in. Uh, they don't mark it on their calendars when to tune in. So I didn't share who's going to join me today, but I know you love her and I love her too. And I'm so excited that she said yes. Hello everybody. And welcome to Wednesday wine. I hope you have your wine ready. Um, I'm, I'm still hitting the white wine because it's for me, it's still summer. It doesn't change till September 20th. And so a nice chilled white wine is what I'm doing. I hope you're having a good week. I'm having a great week. And, um, I don't know after, after I had a birthday, this camera feels a little too close. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Sarah. Joining us from YouTube. So yeah, we call this Wednesday wine, uh, with an H because, that's what we do here. We drink and we wine, but we also learn and laugh and have fun with each other. Hi, Rosario. Hi, Melody. It's great to see everyone here. I'm live from Chicago, Illinois. It's five o'clock. That's why we're hitting the bottle and hitting the tea. See, tea. What I did there. What I did there. Yes. Thank you. Rosario, estoy cute with the hair. The hair is working today. I'm doing this whole thing with the curly hair until humidity goes away and then it's flat again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, like my father would say, let's share some wine and some tea with one of your favorites, Miss Robin Baumgarten. I feel like you and I need our own show. We do. Those boys don't appreciate when you break into song, dance. They don't understand J-Lo like we do. No. We don't get her. You don't understand how many times I'm hoping that you're going straight to me and not to commercial break or weather so that I can be like, excuse me, Art Institute gentlemen, but I Thank need you. to talk about J-Lo. Thank you. And J-Lo comes up every day. I mean, she's, she's a multimedia star. She comes up every day. Just saying. We can't help it. We live no. in her world. Thank you. How are you? It's good to see you. A happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you. Robin, I mean, is are things going to stop hurting or is it downhill from now? I hate to tell you, <laughs> but you look great. Come on now. You're doing hey, great. Are you in a witness protection program that you're in a hotel room again? No, it, this is this is my actual bedroom that looks like a hotel room. <laughs> I watch a lot of Dateline and I know that they it do does. this. It looks like it could be straight out of a hotel room but do no, you make just, your bed every day oh i have to i can't stand it i can't stand it if i don't make it really yeah i feel like i can't i'm i'm very ocd about the bed making yeah i love that have you always been like that no you know when the kids were little and mm -hmm. you know you let things go but now it's just like when i'm trying to get i i can't it's like i i have to make the bed every day so you make it when you get up at wee yeah. hours of the morning yeah yeah but see, your husband's probably still sleeping in bed when yes. you go. So yeah, I mean, and it's like, you know, I I have to admit he straightens the bed though. I don't. See? And he just feel better going in there when it's made, right? You yeah, know? I, you know, and, and that's the bad thing. I think that my mom made us make the bed every morning. And I think I was so annoyed oh, no. by it that I'm the opposite. Did it Although I, I do like a made bed for sure. But making yeah. it myself, because Robin, in reality, I was born royalty and no one told the rest of the world. Thank you. And you had people to do that for you. And I, I don't. And <laughs> like I should. Mom. I should. <laughs> yeah. When my brother got married, my sister-in-law, Lily, told him the fairy godmother is not here anymore. Uh-huh. You got to do right. your own stuff. That's right. Do your laundry. You better make your bed. Yeah. And, I, and I have my kids doing, my daughter has been doing laundry since she was 10. And I love her. Yep. Yeah, yeah, well. Not she, she is so mature for her sports. age. I tell you, I think she is just the best. You're giving her too much credit. You should see how many times she goes, can I borrow your underwear? Because I haven't done laundry. <laughs> like, no, that's where I draw the line. No, no, you no. can't. You no. got to do your laundry. your laundry. But what birth order are you? You're three girls. I'm the middle of three. Ah, yeah. I could totally tell. Yeah, really? Oh, yeah. See you because, last time. Yeah, because you are like, you like you are like mediator between them like you have your relationship with your sisters you're the one that like you're you're never annoyed at them 
Well, you are, but I think kind of, we should probably get my sisters out here because maybe the next <laughs> they would All say right, they would say I'm the I'm the, you know I'm they would probably disagree. You know, they would be like, oh yeah, she's great. You know, <laughs> well, you were like the best kid of the three. No, you know what? Oh. It's weird because my older sister and I, Becky uh -huh. and I, were like you know two years apart, only a year apart in school, and then Holly is like four years younger than me, so. Becky and I were like, you know, buddying around all the time. And then by the time Holly rolled around, she got away with whatever. You know what I mean? So it was this weird dynamic where Holly had a whole different set of parents than Becky and I did. They're like, go on, do whatever you want. They were the ones with the money. They were the ones that were exhausted. They yes, were the ones yes. They're like, we don't care. Go on. You want to juggle knives? Go ahead. You're fine. Don't, don't make yeah. your bed. I don't care. Yeah, yeah I exactly. Don't care. Oh, I'm excited that you guys are excited. You both make my day every morning. Oh, and then nice. Uh, Robin, you are funny and delightful. She is delightful. Oh, God she bless you. But I'm I'm saying that see this what this person Pam can't sleep in a bed that has not been made. Yeah, I, I have to at least make it first, and then I'll get in the bed. I have to straighten everything out. I can't, get out. Yeah, I can't if it's for some reason I didn't make it. I have to straighten it all out and then fold it down. And yeah. I, I have a lot of issues, Anna. A lot of issues. Well, listen, I have to say I'm totally team Robin forever. And I don't want the boys to keep bothering you with your new relationship. I'm going to go well. straight for it. <laughs> You know what? It's become like a joke now. I'm totally fine with it. You know, I, but is he fine with it? Oh yeah, he is. You know what I mean? And he's, he's very cool. He's a great guy. And it's like, people are like, well, why don't you show his picture? I'm like, well, I probably will one of these days, but for now it's like, why should I drag him into all that madness before he has to? It's just, yeah, there's I'm no very reason. superstitious, Rob. Yes. And I'm and like, I feel I'm like the the anonymity boys, is good. No, and, yeah. The boys are jinxing this. No, well, they don't care. They're just doing it. They don't care. They don't care. And that bothers me. Yeah. No, they don't care. I'm like, they're and just going the, to poke the ratings. You, and you listen jerks. to me. Everyone is so intrigued that my coworkers who have worked with Robin longer than with me are like, do you know? Do you know who he is? <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. I think I know. They have theories <laughs> and versions of who could it be. Is it that funny? I, oh, it's I, hilarious. It's funny. It is but funny. We, we do it for well, he's, he's a good guy and I'm very happy. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm Hadjim sure I will introduce him to you soon. I'm sure I will. Yeah. How'd you meet him? Yeah. At least you maybe or yeah, some me. other people and may maybe later down the line. We'll see. Yeah, I'm sure. It's How'd just, you meet you know, him? I kind of don't want to jinx, you know, you don't want to jinx. I don't, don't, don't know. Know. But again, how did you meet this guy? Uh, it's from a mutual friend, you know, nice. and it's just, he's, yeah, he's great. He's a great guy, you know? It's, Robin, it's, you haven't dated in years. How has it changed? You know what? It's it's I've dated on and off over the years, but it's just when you it's amazing how the kids are older. And now yeah. that you allow yourself, uh, you know, it's like, oh, I'm, I have a little free time and I feel like they're kind of set. It's like I kind of never really wanted to dive too far into it because they were my priority and I didn't want to bring anyone around them. For a very long time. So now I feel like kind of is for the first time. I feel like, OK, it's me time. You know, I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I love to, I, we love to see you happy. We love if there is somebody and, and I know you're going to hate me labeling this. But if I if there is somebody who is embracing empty nesting and doing self-care the right way is you. Do you hear me? Oh. You know what? It froze up, sir. So what okay. did you say? Was it so a comment? If, I, I, I definitely I, want you to say that again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that if there is somebody who's doing the empty nesting thing really well, embracing it and taking care of yourself with this whole self-care trip, which I know it's not something you abide by because you don't like to put labels on it and you're not constantly posting hot pictures of you with Proverbs and we appreciate that. <laughs> that is a big thing now, isn't it? It's like, you know, sexy photo. And then it's like, you know. The this, Lord is my savior. I yeah. shall not want. I come on. But do yeah. I have to see your boobs? I know. This is like one, one of these things is not like it. But you know what? Maybe if I looked great in a bathing suit, I'd be posting stuff too. So I, you know, God bless I you. Bring this, I don't want to bring this back to J-Lo. But if we looked like J-Lo oh at 54... You know what? It's not fair. Okay. Um, J Lo is making the rest of us look bad because she must have a team 
But of course, she's very de- she's always been very dedicated to dedicated. her fitness too. But come on, you know that's not how the average fifty some person looks. It's not fair. No, and I have to admit, if I had all those people, like you said, you have to be involved in it too. You have to want it. Yeah, you have a team though. You probably have the a team. dog is in your room. Oh yeah, she's yeah she's an idiot. Um, is she is she goes by you. I thought she. Hey Lola, you want to come here? Want to say hi? Come here. All right, come here, Lola. Let's see if you do have a relationship with your mom. <gasps> Lola. You're still alive. Robin hasn't sent, <laughs> killed you yet. Oh, yeah, she's good. She's good for the most part. She's good. All right, go away. Um, <laughs> here's the thing about J Lo, though. Can, I, can we talk about this because we didn't Let's get a chance to talk about her? We never that. get time to talk about her. Okay, so mm-hmm. you know I love J Lo, and she yes. does it all, mm-hmm. and she looks great, and. Mm-hmm. But I don't understand this thing with Ben Affleck this time around. I'm happy they found each other. Mm-hmm. But it seems like if the all that media attention is what put the kibosh on it before, wouldn't you kind of go a little more low-key this time around? Of course, I don't know her. I'm just saying. It's like posing on the yacht again and recreating the selfies. It seems kind of 20s. You know, it's like you're in your 50s now. Really? And, do we need to do that? and you have 13 year olds. Yes. What do they say about it? They're probably like, oh, you know. And, he, and the other thing is, like, Jennifer Garner is just trying to raise her three children. I know. Because I know. then Ben breaks up with these women and ends up at Jen's house. I, that's just it. It's like people that are, I guess this, look, people do their own thing, what makes them happy. You know what I mean? I God bless them. But it's like, it's this idea of introducing all these different people to your kids all the time. It's yeah. just got to give them whiplash. I don't know. But uh, like, how long did it take you to date after you got divorced? It was a couple of years for sure before I dated the first time. And then even then it was, you know, just a couple of dates here, a couple of dates there. I just never really did anything too seriously just because I felt like it wasn't about me. It was about them. They were little, you know, they were three and five when I got divorced. And it was just, I just spent a lot of time, you know, with them and it was fine. And it was fine. That was my priority. But now I just feel like it's kind of crossed over, you know, they don't want to spend time with me anymore anyway. So it's all good. No, I don't. (laughs) I I think, I think I would have done it like you did it too. We always have this joke. Uh, Those of us have been married a long time and, um, my girlfriends and I are always like, this is it, one and done. We, yeah. We've put effort into it. It's turned out okay. Yes, yes. If God forbid something happens, I just want to be alone and quiet in my own bed so I can make it first thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. See, it's it's interesting. So it's like, but you know what, you guys, you have such a great relationship, you and Steve, and he's such a great guy. And I mean, I had, you know, I had great 10 years with, with my ex. It was fine. You know what I mean? It just sometimes things just... 10 10. years. Yeah, it was 10 years, you know? So it's like, sometimes things just, you know, don't work out and it's sad and it's awful and it's, there's no good way to go through it. And there was a lot of sad years, but it, you know what? It's just, you come out on the other side and you hope the kids, you hope, I mean, they're going to, it's never easy to be kids of divorce. I'm sure, you know, but you just kind of hope you insulate them as best you can surround them with extended family and You know, I don't know. I don't know if I did it right. We'll see. You probably, uh, just to (laughs) warn you, they're going to say something to the therapist no matter what. Mine that have been in a family with a mom and a dad surrounded by love are probably screwed up because they have two religions and they don't know what team to play for. Uh, You know, they're going to everything you do. You can't win. No, no situation's perfect. So, and there's, I think it's Dr. Phil that said, he said, I heard this years ago. Well, you know, Dr. Phil's got a lot of little nuggets that you take away from him. I know a lot of people don't like him, but he said, sometimes it's better to be from a broken home than to live in a broken home. I'm Dr. Y'all, Phil. Y'all. <laughs> that and was I your attempt at a southern if it's miserable, Yeah. If it's miserable at home, you know, sometimes it's best if if the two people, you know, are not together. I, who knows? Who knows? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was watching this show that's really bad, but I was I forced myself to watch it. Clickbait. Oh, I watched it, too. I watched all eight episodes. The acting was awful, Robin. You know, geez, I didn't even know. 
<laughs> you know why, Robin? Because we're running out of things to watch, Robin. That's why. You know, and we'll just yeah. take anything. But I'll tell you what, wasn't that fascinating how quickly yes. you could get lured into, oh my God, that was really compelling. Eight episodes, Very you'll compelling. blow through it quick. It's a great stream if someone's looking so, for it. The woman at one point when she says, mom, you've never judged me for cheating on him or whatever. And she says, life is messy. And yes. I've learned in this role with every, in this journey, with everything that has happened to me, to my family, to my girlfriends, yes. that it is messy and you can't judge. No, because I tell you, well, you know, when I first came here, I thought this is forever. Of course, you know, I'm Catholic. I'm never going to get divorced. You know, it's like, you never think that's sometimes you don't know what you don't know about. So I used to be like, oh, I feel so bad for those people that got divorced. Why couldn't they make it work? You never know what people's stories are. You never know. And it's like sometimes, you know, you get thrown a curveball. You just have to swerve. You do, you know, what can you do? That's life. You're right. It's Bernie, messy. It. I'm divorced for years now, one and done. I'm in a relationship now, but I will not get married again. Would you get married again? Um, I might. You know, it just, it, 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 yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. You know, it's not like I'm anti-marriage or anything, you know, but yeah. we don't know. I mean, it would have, the situation would have to be perfect, you know? This, this, this Peg did what you did. You followed the girls around yeah, for yeah. cheerleading. She did it for sucker for her son. And it's, uh, it's what works for you. It really is. We can't really judge. No, no. Some people don't, they have no support system with family uh -huh. and they, and they, you know, get into a relationship and that helps the kids. I mean, who knows? I mean, ever, I was lucky enough to have my parents nearby, my sisters nearby. So yes. I mean, and you were very it. smart because you knew to go back home. You were living yes. in the city and it wasn't working. And you're like, I may love the city, but I need to head to where the support system is. That's right. That's right. And you got to do it, you know? So and honestly, Robin, they've had your parents example as a solid marriage. You know, th th they've had male role models. They have a good dad, yeah. um, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, but, and with this whole gender fluidity, this whole relationships are different. This is not how you and I were. We came from solid marriages and we're like, we have to marry the first. What I had, to, I thought I was going to marry my first high school boyfriend. Right. That's what my mom did. Right. Yeah. And, and it was so it crazy. Out, that I was devastated. Did. Yes. And it's like, you know what? But it's like, you know, I, the older you get, the more you're like, you know what? People, I don't, people are going to live their lives. And it's like, you know, I don't, you know, you try and be a good person and you just, you try and hope other people are happy that, what do you do? You know, it's like your, your rigidity eases kind of over time. You're like, what yeah, are they? I think, I think also children do that to you. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because they're, it's messy and it's like, and you know what, they're going to, sometimes they're going to hate you no matter what you do. <laughs> so, so it's like, you know, what do you do? You do the best you can. That's all you can do. And then they're going to become parents. Yes. And then the, the, the shoes on the other foot. <laughs> my mother used to say that to my brother and I all the time in Spanish. Hijo eres padre serás. You're, you're a daughter now. You will be a parent soon. And we thought that the skies would break open and lightning would hit us every time she said that because it was one of those like proclamations. Yeah. yeah. But it's true. Yeah. And it's like your whole perspective on it. You're like, you know, the eye rolls and all that. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. I'm like, Hi. we don't like to judge Robin, but I think we should talk about this. Did you see the video of Jessica Chastain and Oscar Isaac? Yes. Now, come on. They're not dating. No, they're, they're married to other people. Married in long now, relationships. come on. Mm -hmm. I think you're frozen on my end. Oh, am, am I? Oh, yeah, gosh. Gosh. No, no you're me? good. Okay. Now, come on. They're, they're married to other people? Yeah. For a long time. He is for sure. He has two kids. Jessica married an Italian guy maybe three years ago. Um, but they went. No. So I and I took a step back. I saw the whole video. I can yeah. see how they were playing around and improvising and all that stuff. But it is total, for lack of a better term, clickbait for all of us because they have this chemistry. So then I read an article where I think on the Today Show she said... Shocker. She didn't go to WGM Morning News to talk about this, mm. really. Next time. Um, and so um, we maybe get, we may be able to get Jenny McCarthy's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Call us, Jenny. Fine for us. Yeah. Fine for us. Yeah. Um, we know where we are. 
We yeah. know who we are. We're so good. That's good. Jenny's so, too busy for us too. Je even Jenny yeah. is too busy for us. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. But so, so anyway, they're, they're married they, to other people. They are married to other people. Robin, they've been friends since college. They went to Juilliard together. Hmm. So they've, been, they've known them, but mm, I don't know. Look, I, don't know. I mean, I'm, I've worked with like, you know, Larry and Paul for 25 we years. Robin, right? Stop it right there. <laughs> so Robin, know your audience. Those two people are afraid of hugging, let alone kissing you on the cheek. You think you're going to get anywhere a, near your armpit? The thought no. of either of them even physically touching me would be so bizarre, let alone like stroking my arm and kissing my armpit. I'd be like, what is wrong? Are you, are you on something? I would just be like, I love you to death, but get, get what is wrong with you? I mean, come on. I don't, do you have a male friend that you stroke their face? And I don't know. My, I, gay, my gay friends when I was in my twenties and my, yes, my gay friends were very um, demonstrative. Yes. And I think that when you're in your twenties and you're single, you feel safe acting yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. your gay friends. Uh, but no, and you know that I, I studied acting and I have a lot of actor friends. First of all, comedians won't even, that's good. It's when, whenever a comedian gets uh, sassy with you, he's being a pervert. So <laughs> that's when we, really? start walk, we start texting each other. So uh -huh. and so, because, uh -huh. you know, we're, we're not that well adjusted. Com yeah. Stand up comedians are not that well. I love them all, but no. And, and to clarify, clear the air. I've never had a bad experience with any of my male comedian friends. Yeah. Um, I've been very lucky. I've been very lucky at work too. And you know that I worked at Spanish TV and yes. we're very passionate people. And we yeah, you know, yeah. And I gotta, I gotta say the same thing. I feel like I've been, and who's to say, you know, sometimes those things happen. You have no idea when you're going to be in a situation, but I've been knock on wood on, I I've, I've had just good experiences up until this point. Thank goodness. Yes. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I can see how um, um, Swery Mary and I were talking about that, that we, we both have had, uh, we both been lucky. I yeah. think we both have found places where we, um, that are very respectful environments. Yes. Um, uh, and, but I, 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 again, don't judge it. And I, and I believe that it happens to people because I, I know a lot of friends that it's happened to. It just, we've been blessed that that has happened that that hasn't happened to us but no i don't have let me like think. what would your husband say if if that was you if you if that if that was you and like a guy uh, that you went to college with who's not who's a straight guy who's married but a longtime friend i would think he'd have a problem with that i'd have a problem with that if that was my husband oh you would have had to hold me back i would be like uh excuse me no, 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 no. Cut it out, people. You don't, Cut it out. What are you stroking his face for? It, it, this is, what, what is it from the, the movie, The Big Chill, I think, when, do you remember that where Glenn Close lets Mary Kay Place sleep with her husband so she could have a baby? And, mm -hmm. and the other woman goes, be generous with your chocolate cake, not with your husband. <laughs> I'm I like, yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, there's any no. Here? No. You Robin, I was, I was like eight months pregnant and I went to the 40th birthday of a friend of mine and there was a woman there who was drunk and was, you know how women start like, you have a great husband. Oh Your husband yeah. Is great. yeah. Your husband and it's like all over him. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I know he's great. I was like, yes. And then you, you, you're trying to walk that line and not look like this super jealous, you know, a person yeah. and you know, you, but you're just gotta be like, um, mm -mm. I like this Angelica. Better yet, what would Anna say if Steve was acting like that? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I'd have some words with him. I, I wouldn't say anything in the moment, but afterwards, I'd be like, uh, "No." Yeah, I have to. But but listen, um, I do understand that these are actors, so <laughs> they're, they're they're promoting a movie, and if you see the whole video, there are moments where they're joking and laughing. But she has an Italian husband. Oscar has to be careful. <laughs> You know, well, Latin, you know, you know what, maybe I mean, and it's like I, I have to say this, though, you make a good point, because do you remember that performance by Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga at the Oscars? Yeah. And I'm like, these two are getting together. And then he gets divorced from his wife or his girlfriend that he had the baby mm -hmm. with. I'm like, mm -hmm. these there's no way these two are not in love. 
and all an act. Go figure. They all had me. Act. They had me totally lured in. And that Star is Born, I thought they were in love the whole time. They fooled me. So maybe it's all promotion for the movie. Yep. Yeah, because honestly, these two guys, these two actors are excellent actors, yeah. but they're they're very well known for people who love acting, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, they're they're not blockbuster film actors, right? Right. So maybe they're this. Maybe this is that method stuff they talk about, where you have to stay in, <laughs> stay in character all the time. I don't know. Is did I use that right? Yes, you did. And let yeah. me let me tell you, I'm something. not an actor. I am bad I at acting. And singing all of the arts. But you're very good at the voiceovers. Oh, the, you know what? You're right, Anna. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. You, you heard me do my Dr. Phil. It was like he was sitting right here. Right there. You're right, you're right. right there. Um, Oscar Isaac is also fluent in Spanish. I can see the attractiveness. He's, look, he's a sexy man. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. He is lovely. Mm -hmm. I, I don't blame mm -hmm. her. But it's like, I don't blame her. Life. If you want to kiss my right here. I mean, what? Who does that? Is that a thing? What? Ah, uh, no, I don't. I mm, no. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. But there's a lot of things that I'm not familiar with. There's lots no. of tricks and stuff going on that I am real well out of the loop on. I'll be the first. To there say. are things, you know, it's it, I, you know that I I listen to, but you know, we'll go. We're, now we're going to watch the movie for sure. Oh yeah, you know, you're I feel right. like this is going to be like Bridgerton. Oh my gosh. When there's chemistry between the stars, you got to watch it. I mean, I'm look, I'm watching it now. I didn't even know they were in a, a show together. I, I, you know, it, it, it takes a special kind of spouse to marry an actor. You're right because they're. I mean, the stuff they have to do and you have to watch that all the time. Can you imagine? And I know they always say, "Oh, the room is full of people." Yes, but still, it. Of course, I don't think if I was in movies, I would never be the leading lady. I'd be like the, you know, the girlfriend who's making the popcorn on the couch and like the sidekick. You know, that's the that's best cool. friend, the wing. You gotta know your lane, right? You so I don't think my my husband would have a problem. <laughs> they, you know, the sidekick's not getting the guy, so it's mine, all right. Mine wouldn't either. I like this. Seriously, the couple in Sex Life are now a real couple. She divorced her husband for him, but I don't know this show. I saw one episode. And <laughs> it's pretty intense, but I don't know which guy she's talking about. Is it the the sexy old boyfriend or the sexy husband? Because there's two guys. Okay. Like, I don't know to. which one. So, we Annette, tell us. Who did she end up with? Look oh, who piped up. Look who piped <laughs> up. I think Tyra, our entertainment producer, goes, <laughs> reportedly, is it for the married part? What part is reportedly, Tyra? And have you interviewed yeah. either of these people? Yeah, reportedly what? Reportedly, like those those two are not married, or reportedly, boy, I need no. Now they're to... married, and who is Tony Leung? Do you know that guy, Tony Leung? Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna do a quick up. dive right now. Let's do that. Let's look, Tony Leung. Let's see. Oh, he's handsome. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, what is he in though? Ooh. Oh my God, Robin. Mm -mm. Oh, he's in Shang Chi. Oh. oh, I tell you, yeah, and he's he's 59. He's a handsome man for 59. Let me show you, should I pull up the picture? Look at that. He's very handsome man. He's, he's what, 59? No, he yes, says he was born in 1962. Wowie. Well, I get lots of tips. Oh my god. Lots goodness. of tips here from people. Oh, you know who you should also follow? It's my my girlfriends who my do Peloton. Ear. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to have a girlfriends who do Peloton, not me. Follow this guy called Adrian Williams. <gasps> Here it is. Hold on. Because I know you like that guy from that show whose name I didn't know. Oh, what? um, from Criminal Minds? Mm-hmm. Mm, he's a Peloton instructor? Aha. Uh -huh. And I've heard that sometimes when he's on the bike, he looks at you and goes, I know. <gasps> it's hard. What does he know? That it's hard. <laughs> does he know that I don't want to be working out? Yes, he does. <laughs> he knows that, Robin. And I appreciate that, Robin, because I don't like when the workout people yell at me. No. And you know what? It, it makes me, yeah. It's like, and I don't need. He knows. Yeah. He knows. Robin, he, he's tying his shoes. 
Like he's just a tiny person. shoes. He's just casually bending over, saying, "I got you, ladies. I know you." Look, he's got us. He's got us. He's oh. running. He's running to help us get back on the bike. See, I gotta be honest, guys. That you know, when you're in that good of shape, it's intimidating to me. It's like I'd almost, you know, who I loved working out to back in the day, Richard Simmons, sweating to the oldies. And you know what? <laughs> Richard looked like a regular guy. And I, you know what? I didn't feel intimidated. I'm like, you're dang right, Richard. I can do it too. Because Richard and all the people had behind a, him looked like me. And I'm like, yeah. Because Richard had a muffin top. Always. Yes. Yeah. And he wore his blouse blousey. Yes, he did. And he had that perm going and he had his, you know, scrunched down socks. I'm like, yeah, Richard, everyone knows it's windy. Yeah. Come on. Ira. Gaga and Cooper, they broke up with their mates after the Kissy Face Award season. Neither of them are that great of an actor to pull that off. Tyra oh, so is, she thinks they were Tyra together feels, then. Tyra feels. Mm. Tyra feels that. I tell you, been. that was that was some pretty good chemistry there. Yeah, I also like my workout people struggling like me. Yeah, I, want I don't want. Yeah, like I don't want someone that looks too good. It's too intimidating. Like all those spin classes at the gyms, and the jazzercise class. I can't be doing that. I and then people are yelling at me. I'm like, yeah, I'm. I'm well, I, move I my own think pills. I'm only following him on the Insta, and I'm not <laughs> actually on the Peloton. I can't go on a Peloton. Are you kidding me? I'd be intimidated. I'm just. I'm lucky. I'm walking my dog. How do those That's people not get hemorrhoids sitting on that thing? I don't know. That no. cannot be comfortable. No. Cannot be comfortable. No, There's no you. way that's comfortable. Thank you. All right. Anything else you're watching before we say goodbye, people love to hear or anything else we haven't spoken about because we don't get to talk because those boys are always in the way. Mm -hmm. What's I going to talk to you about? We talked about JLo. Um, mm -hmm. Anything else you're watching? You watch clickbait. I watched clickbait. Oh, I watched that. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, you, you go. Right. No, you go. I watched that Martin Short, uh, Steve Martin series with Selena Gomez on Hulu. Only murders in the building. Great. It's only four episodes have downloaded so far, but it's like a murder mystery in their apartment building. Really funny. Really liked that nice. one. Nice. Yeah. And I also watched that White Lotus on HBO. Kind of creepy, but you know. That was oh, okay. my brother watched that. That was creepy. It was Do creepy. You know that did you watch Succession? I watched the first season, and that was another one of those things where I'm like, since I was away from it for so long, I'm like, eh, I don't feel like starting season two or whatever it was. But it was good. I, it was very good. Yeah. And my brother keeps calling me like, I'm so happy we have a great relationship. Oh, my God. Yes. I mean, don't you see that stuff? And you're like, think, look, if there was one thing my parents did right, my sisters and I might have our issues, but it's family. They're like, that's your sister for life. So I don't yeah. care what you idiots are fighting about. You better make up because that's your sister, you know? When are the retro rep recipes coming back? Probably in uh, November. So, uh, yeah. yeah. You're so I got to, I got to, if you have any good ones, send them to the Facebook page and, you know, anything really incredibly disgusting. Because I really, <laughs> I really got to get them this time around. <laughs> One more thing, because you said perm. Uh, Bob Ross. Did you watch the documentary? I didn't. You know why? Because we had that we had that guy on the director who was on the nine o'clock show, mm -hmm. and um, I just I felt like it was kind of depressing. And I didn't know. I know I got to get into. I love a documentary, but I just I feel kind of bad if the family got rooked out of money, and you know, it just if I know going in, it's going to be a, a downer. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Spoiler alert! I don't know. I've he has a perm. Wait, sorry? I froze. Spoiler alert, he has a perm. Yes. Not as real. But you know Not what? It's real hair. I don't know if that would be the style I choose, but hey, we're still talking about him all these years later, you know? It is a very, um, the documentary is not super depressing. No, it's not. Um, it's not super depressing, but it's, I found it very slow, but that's Bob, you know? Yeah. At the beginning, they, they yeah. build it up for you to feel sympathetic for the guy um, and and who he was and the phenomenon he was and whatever. And then, uh, yeah, it's, oh, wait, did you watch the Val Kilmer one? Oh, I sure did. 
I didn't watch the Rick James ones though. Tyro, no, but one? Robin, you spoke about the Val Kilmer one, and then they went to weather, and I'm like, I can't bring it back now. Damn it! Oh, you can't talk about it again. Yeah, yeah, but when when there was weather, I'm like, I can't bring it back. I know, I know. They need to just have us toss to each other so we can talk about these things. That was that was so. Val Kilmer was he basically did videotaping of all every movie set he was on. <laughs> Even when he was a kid, yeah. his audition tapes. Oh my God! And how about his bro? It's 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 really good, worth watching. So it's short good. enough, really good. And you realize what an actor's actor he was that happened to be good looking, and then got screwed because he was good looking. I know, I know. Um, yeah. Let me. Uh, it happens to all of us, Anna. We're too good looking. Yeah. You know that's why we're we're still here all these years later. Oh, People are just intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Oh, Dex, Dr. are you listening Death. to Dex? Oh. I listened to all of the podcasts and I did watch the Dr. Death with um, How Joshua, the, the TV uh -huh. show. It's on, uh -huh. Is it Hulu or Peacock or something? Netflix, I think. No, uh, Peacock. Might Peacock. be Peacock. Yes, yeah. that is really good. Oh my God, some of those surgery scenes though. You gotta, you gotta kind of hide yes. them. It's great. But I'm even Dex. when she was narrating them, I was like, oh, so there's a last one. You need to listen to this one, Robin. And then apparently Whoopi Goldberg has this thing called Con, which is a documentary on ABC where she talks about different con artists. Ooh. So Doctor, the last Doctor Death is called Miracle Man. Yes, and it is I about an, listening to that one. Okay. So there is so Whoopi did not Whoopi, probably the producers from right. Nightline. Uh, she narrated the more of the romantic aspect of it, of the Dateline oh. producer getting conned. Yes. Yes. So watch that and then continue listening to the podcast because the podcast goes more into his atrocities Crimes. or his negligence as a doctor. Yes, yeah. Oh, I didn't really. That whole romantic angle is so, I don't understand people not thinking they're going to get. The, do you think the jig's not going to be up at some point? <laughs> I've never understood that. What I don't get on it. the wedding day in, in Italy, what were you, what, what's your plan? What's your plan? I, I just, I mean, but there's some people I think that just get off on the compulsive lying. And I mean, I can't, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, that's a good one too. Ooh, Ooh. We better tell uh, Potash there's a Duran Duran documentary. <gasps> it's an old behind the music, is it? Uh -huh. Oh, I bet. Uh -huh. Oh, Ooh, have you seen this yet? Nine Perfect Strangers? I have not. We have seen them all on the show today, and that's one of those. I have it on my list, and that's that's one of my next ones. I got to do that one. Okay, so I listened to your interview with the Murder in Illinois podcast host. Yes, yes. Are you listening? I did not listen to it you yet. Have to. Oh, it's good. What was it based on again? The murder okay, was... Do uh, you remember Val was still working with us, Val Warner. And you must have remembered... She oh, was, I do. Yes, it was She was, was the, flying the, over the and she said, I think there's people in that yes. SUV. Oh, yes. And it I was will the, never forget because I remember hearing the conversation. You know how we can hear the helicopter and yes. their conversations and... So it's this family of four of five. There's only one survivor. It's the dad. And he can't remember what happened. And, and he's in jail for the. He's in jail. You have the, to listen. That's, I was. That's another one. I gotta. All the time. way to the end. Okay, I got. I got uh, the true crime uh, podcasts are my favorite. I do you ever listen to Anatomy of Murder? Oh, girl, you got me into it. Did I? Oh yes, my last favorite. time we spoke. And, and you know, um, go ahead. Anasiga Nicolatis. I love her. It just, and it's like, cause I like it cause she's a former prosecutor. He's a former detective and you get a perspective on the true crime that you don't get from just the average podcast. She's like, here's what the prosecutor is going to do next. Here's what the, you know, I'm like, all right. You know, I know. So we've been talking Good about uh, murder in Illinois. That's the one that oh, I'm telling Robin I'm to listen again. to. My internet is terrible. I am so sorry. No, don't worry. So is mine. It could be you. It could be me. But yeah. we were Angelica. We were talking about murder in Illinois because we had the host the other day and uh, on the show. And the other one that Robin likes is Anatomy of a Murder because it's a, prose a former prosecutor and an investigative reporter who used to be a cop. So while they, and, and Robin recommended this one last time, while they explain the murder, they tell you, well, we couldn't bring it to court because we didn't have this or that. Right, really right. interesting. Yeah, it's really good. So yeah, I th th there you have it. Um, we... 
we are here for you with all the useless TV you can watch. I know. I love catching up and gossiping. So one of these days, those uh -huh. bonehead boys will be gone and we can just gossip the whole morning. You know, that's what I needs think that's to what be people done. want at nine o'clock. I'm not saying I'm just saying, Anna, you know, I mean, we got to throw that balloon out there and see what floats because, uh, you know, I'm just saying, just saying. We could keep Pat because Pat listens to stuff. <laughs> At least he knows what's going on in pop culture. At least, but so Conrad is in a bubble from 1975. <laughs> and, and Larry's stuck in his 1980s bubble. In 1980s yeah. bubble. And so, yeah. and he wants to listen to history podcasts. Nothing wrong with that. No, but it's like we, we're trying to, you know, we're, I'm not saying that I'm not bringing any young vibe by any stretch of the imagination, but at least we somewhat to turn into TMZ every now and then. I mean, right? It's like you got, you got to, you got you to, have to. Or, you know, whatever. Because if not, our children will rule our lives. We're doing Thank it you. for the kids. We're it's doing for it for the kids. kids. Anna. I'm so glad I got to do this with you again. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love you. I'm glad that you're happy. You're looking great. Aw, back at you. I love the curly hair. Thank you. When this yes. whole Delta variant crazy thing is over, then we can go out and have a cocktail. Four of us so I can real. meet Mr. In an actual X. bar again. That Maybe would... some people can join us. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday wine on the road. It'll be like check please is over. Stop you should it. do like a you need to you need to stop doing that because you're the first one who then is gonna tell me, did you vet these people? Do we know who's meeting us? Because we get really excited. I know. And then when push comes to shove, we're like, so we did what? Problem, Anna, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone who listens to this is completely, is lovely. So lovely thank people. you. Thank you All for right, having me Have a great night. Again. You too. Love you. Love Bye. You too. Bye. So there you have it. She has to go to bed now in her perfectly bed, made bed. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, oh my goodness. You guys have such great comments. My friend is fantastic. Oh, Amy Rutledge, you just hopped on? Smartless. We listen to Smartless. Listen to the one from uh, Fred M. Armisen. So good. I have to listen to the Champagne one, but I can't. I don't like Champagne very much because I saw a documentary of Champagne, what he did to Kate Del Castillo when she met El Chapo and brought him. You know what I'm talking about? Kate Del Castillo is a Mexican actress who went to interview El Chapo and took Sean Penn. And Sean didn't tell her that he was doing, like, he took advantage of her. Let's just put it that way. And I don't like him. But I love Smartless. Smartless is with Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes. And it's great. They have a guest every week. And two of the other hosts don't know who the guest is. And they have to guess. And then it's great fantastic okay so and watch amy's new show amy rutledge i think it starts monday amy uh with tanya francisco uh lifestyle show on our show after wgm morning news and we're so happy to have amy back yes i did throw her on the bus so oh hypochondriac i can't listen to that angelica because i'm gonna get every illness he mentions um so yes no, Amy, you are amazing. Mary, I forgot to, I forgot to ask, uh, I, I forgot to tell Robin that her interview with Dave Plyer, if you can find that, Dave Plyer has a radio, uh, radio show on WGN Radio, and he had Conrad and Robin together, and if, because they, they have both been working at the station for 25 years, so go check that out, and of course, I will see you next Wednesday with Wednesday Wine. From the P to the R, from Puerto Rico, I'm going to go check on my elders, see how they're doing. So I'm not sure if I am going to have my parents for Wednesday wine, my brother Mario for Wednesday wine, all of them together. Let me know what you think. Uh, but I'm going down there to check on my, on my parents, okay? Yes, Sean threw her under the boss. That's all I'm saying, Sonia. Go check out that documentary, too. Now, I don't remember why, where and when I watched it, but it's Kate Del Castillo, the days that she met El Chapo. All right. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I think, I think it was a great get. I think Robin Baumgarten should come on every Wednesday and it should just be Wednesday Wine with Anna and Robin. Bye, guys. See you next week. And of course, YouTube channel, social media, and what pays the bills, WGM Morning News, every morning around town.